Good morning everyone, you join me on a very wet Friday afternoon, today right, clean up some water that's somehow getting in, today I am going to try and, because it's raining and I can't do any body work, I'm going to try and rebuild this front subframe, we've got a whole load of new parts, I spent about 200 quid getting some proper decent parts, here's all the old parts, all the old calipers, housings, brake lines, wheel hubs and stuff all the bolts all the old bolts the subframe there which we restored painted and cleaned up see it all springs nicely got some grease to grease that up and here's the array of new parts we have we have some inner tie rods some track rod ends engine mounts gearbox mounts anti-roll bar links anti-roll bar bushes some new steering gaiters and two new arms with ball joints already on them. So now I'm gonna see what I can get done, just start bolting some stuff up, see what I can restore and redo. Yeah, let's start cracking on. First thing we've got, we've got these two engine mounts. One is an engine mount and one I believe is the gearbox mount on this side. Or it might be flipped the other way around, I think that's the gearbox mount, that's the engine mount, but anyway, they just take a nice, I don't think anything needs to go between there. They take on this side a nice M8 nut. I believe it's going to be the same on this side, an M8 nut. Let me just do a quick burp. Yeah, it's an M8 nut. So let's get those threaded in, tied down, tight down, and that's the easiest job I think done. So I've got one engine mount in there, all these bolts are torqued down to 40, 40 foot pounds of torque over here as well. I threaded some M8 or M10, I can't exactly remember which ones they are, they're in here. M10 bolts in the top just to keep those threads clean. Um, screwed down obviously these, these, these. Next on the agenda I think is going to be sorting out the steering rack, I'm getting the inner tie rods on and the track rod ends on and the steering boots on so let's tackle that now what i've got to do first wind this shaft all the way out here grease up these lines and so they slide in in and out nicely of this steering rack so let's uh, grease these up Lithium base grease, multi-purpose kind of, well, CV grease. Just coating the gearing mainly. That's the most important thing. That's the bit that's going to wear out the quickest if it's not lubricated. Slide it in. And do the same on this side. Now I've got a couple of um, power ends. Get into the bag. A couple of new tie wood ends. Delphi. Non sided, so it doesn't matter where they go. But I just want to thread them in. So they stop on that ball joint. Just like that. Just like that. They go on. Beep. This whole ball joint here 
you need to cover and slather that in grease because that is a moving part obviously when your steering's going up and down this bit's moving so that needs to get absolutely covered because if there's not enough grease on it you will get excessive wear Slides on. All right. Now you want that ball joint to go over the end of this steering rack. So to do that, I bought some spray grease. Just so I can slide it over. The actual rack a bit better. Now the circuit can go on. All right, now our steering rack boots are on and they're compressing as they should. It took me a while to figure that out. We can start to put our firewood ends on. I'm just going to wind them down to the to the max they can go because. I don't know where they're going to sit on the ball joint yet. But wind those down to the max they can go. And then we can adjust them when it comes to putting them on and sorting out the tracking. So yeah, just wind those on. Got one for either side, left hand and the right hand. Over here, goes on the end there, left hand and the right hand, and that is the power steering rack setup done. Starting to look like a subframe again. Right now, I'm just retapping the thread for the arm, the arm back there, because it was a bit in there you can see when I pull the tap out how much shit is over the tap it's a 12 by 1.5 pitch you can just see how much shit is over the tap Hopefully, this bolt screws in a bit better now because it wasn't screwing in before. Hmm. I believe this is the wrong bolt and the wrong pit for this job. Let's have a look. Yeah. Right, I'm going to have to go through my bolt bag and find the right pitch bolt for this. Alright, I have cut and grinded and sanded back the on the wire wheel the bolts. You can see what it was before and what they are now. Just five minutes on the wire wheel, brings it up nicely. I've recut the inside of these threads you can see they're nice and new now compared to when I get this other one off compared to what they were before when they're all shitted up nice and new threads recut so these screw on nicely now I can get the arm back on because that screws in nicely and everything screws in nicely so let's get this arm on this left hand side uh, right hand side left hand side whatever Alright, now both arms are on and secure. 
the last thing we need to do is straighten up these die rods and drip one ends. Uh, both the arms are on there tightened. I do just need to get an Allen key or a washer on there because the paint starts to crack. Doesn't matter, it's not important. But the last thing I need to do because I've decided I'm going to replace these ball joints is get the anti roll bar link on. So we've got some new, where are they gone? Anti roll bar bushes, stick them on there either end of there and secure the anti-roll bar to the subframe so let's get it on now and we'll have a nice touch of yellow on the subframe so that is how we're looking now on the front subframe got the two arms in there and I still need to figure out a way of connecting these these anti-roll bar links we have to weld a bit of sheet metal on there and join them there because there's uh, one my last on the OEM arms there's a little bit of um, metal here that sticks up and you can stick a bolt through but that's fine got all of those in any roll bars in and it looks nice and that is how the front subframe is looking right now which looks glorious a lot better than it was when it was all crusty and disgusting that is the front subframe rebuilt. I chipped it a bit there, which really pissed me off. But we can repaint that, that's fine. Yeah, that's the front subframe rebuilt. Uh, apart from the little modifications we need to do there, which I've already figured out how to do. Just need a bit of sheet steel and welded it, and that's it. And then um, get some new ball joints, clean it all up, and then we're done. So, boom. I'm going to clean up now. If you did like this video, please remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Adios.